It's not like a threat into the GoPro that yo, hey, yo. It's not like that because I love GoPro. Don't get me wrong on that like because I've been using GoPro for almost two years This is a new GoPro and this is my third GoPro. They sent me a new GoPro. In one word, GoPros are not very reliable. If it works, it works. It works better than anything. And like, that's why I really love it. But like, it's unreliable at the same time. So this whole video, me trying to share my theory that this unreliability, how much is it GoPro's fault or how much is it user's fault or the things you should know. And these are not repairable. If it's gone, it's gone. If it's replaced, then it's fine. If it's gone, then it's gone. Before that, if you don't know, I make videos once in six months. And before you start asking me what happened with my hair, I'm just gonna make a separate video about it. Probably update six. GoPro. Uh, you buy it and it can die on the next day. SD card error. Mm. Went all the way back. Literally, it can die. For a lot of other people, it's been for seven years, six years, five years, and it's still not dead yet. Now, that leads to the investigation of that. Like, why it does happen. Is that GoPro software issue, firmware issue, build issue? Is that scam product or what the hell? Just for context, I live in India and, well, we have an official website for GoPro, but you cannot order from there. Or if we don't have an official showroom for GoPro, we need to find the authorized retailers who just resells the GoPro with instant amount of GST in poor taxes great SD card you need to get good SD card you know what do I mean by good SD card is like original SD card if there are so many dodgy cards there are so many fake cards if you got one of them it might be one of the reasons that your GoPro will die or even not work properly the number one thing just get from authorized people okay okay you got a nice SD card now what's the next biggest problem is the overheating so for these things there is no limit how long you can record but it depends on the overheating I have never had an issue where the camera was like overheated there was a, a notification and it turned off but don't go for that scenario if you go for that scenario it's just at that point it's just something is melting inside if it's a 4k and if you record about one minute it's just gonna cook like you can go like over one minute if you record from on 2.7k and uh, obviously what I'm saying about is 24 fps this is capable to record in 4k 60 fps I never done it not with my previous GoPro like not at all if you're recording on 1080p 60 fps you can record like five minutes seven minutes ten minutes something like that in in ideally in this unlimited recording time you can record you can go up to like 30 minutes something which I never did but like the same with like if you go with 1080p like 120 fps or 240 fps you cannot do much longer because uh, of the file size is too much so the sd card overheats even the battery and the whole like the chip inside of the gopro overheats it just burns so that was one other thing that is uh, makes it unreliable because if you make it overheat it just fails the so speaking of overheating there's one features is you can use it as a webcam i say don't no never do not do it no if you're thinking to do that like for a little 10 minutes fine but like do not think that you would stream with this well like if you ask me well how long did you stream with this i use this for like one hour two hour as a webcam maximum i think used for like four hour couple times i used it for four hours so when you use it as a webcam first of all the software of the gopro like the, that enables you to like feed this thing to there like do like 10 to be 60 fps streaming experience kind of like that so glitchy and it's it's painful uh, your gopro battery is dead here's the thing it is not meant to be a webcam so please don't use it as a webcam do not it will probably kill your gopro i don't know i don't know i'm i'm, I'm just paranoid so here's a couple things there it's like a double-edged sword there's a couple things you need to know about it like right now there is no battery in it okay if you leave the battery in it like if you're just shooting then leaving the battery in it is fine but if you're not using it do not put the battery in because when you put the battery in it and even if you shut it down it just stays awake like well there is a dedicated setting which is quick capture so like if the gopro is off and you press this button it uh, automatically turns on and start recording whatever the mode that was set in i thought like that's the setting that keeps this one 
on and also like the you know you can do like turn on by the vo voice and something like that those things and wireless connection and everything but like even after turning off them it still you know remains on so like even if you turn it off this gopro is on now as you can see this is turned on and this is connected i'm gonna turn it off This is powered off, yet you can see there's a button, tap to power on. So this GoPro is off, yet it's like still on. So basically, I mean, it's a zombie. It's, it's off, but it's on. There we go. See? So what that means is like it still interacts with the Bluetooth of your phone and it still interacts with any Bluetooth on any place. And I have seen this problem where the GoPro would just turn on automatically out of nowhere like at 3 a.m. I don't know if it's possession or some paranormal activity. It just turned. I have occurrences where the GoPro would turn on by itself so that leads me to like okay just put the battery out you know now when you put the battery out like right now when i'm gonna put the battery in and when i'm gonna turn it on there will be no time of like there will be no information that what time is it what date it is so the gopro will tell you to connect with the gopro app so then it syncs up with the thing now the thing is that it's annoying so you need to open your gopro app connect the gopro with the phone it's not like okay it syncs up and you just get to go you know after you connect the phone you know gopro with the phone you need to turn off the GoPro and turn it back on. Otherwise, apparently, I don't know, it, it's just for me. It just freezes and it doesn't work. So like the, the, the workflow is you put the battery and you connect with the phone, you turn off the GoPro, turn it back on, and then you're ready to go, which is not very convenient. But I don't know if it's a firmware problem, software problem. I don't know if they fixed it on the newer GoPro. I cannot talk about it, but like I have seen definitely there are people who suffered with the same issues. <laughs> that that's like the freezing is normally normal in the GoPro. You just like, you no matter what, what GoPro you're using. Now that leads to why and how I have this third GoPro. As, as I said, I, I bought the GoPro, it was dead, then they replaced it, I used it for 1.5 years, I pushed it absolutely th to the limit, I was using it for webcam, I was shooting video, I was just absolutely using and pushing it to the limit because that's the only camera I have. It was like somewhere around last October or September, something like that, somewhere around that time, the GoPro stopped recording the audio, there was no audio in the footage. Uh, I first started like, okay, I fired the GoPro mic apparently. Then after, you know, I was like, okay, at least the video is running. So then I called the people and they're like, you need to bring the GoPro to test it. So I was like, I ignored it. I realized that it, the mic works sometime and it doesn't work at the other time. So I was like, well, so I didn't fry the mic up. It was something inside internal issue. At least the footage was working. So I was like, okay, fine. And then the GoPro would turn off weirdly. And what, after you turn it on, it just kind of auto restarts like goes black and comes back now these are the one of the symptoms of your corrupted sd card that can be because the sd card was like you know i used the sd card for like a horse uh when this year i wanted to use it on like it was it was march the gopro won't turn on like i would try to turn it on there was like a red light and it won't turn on then i searched on the issue that okay what's the red light freezes an error like previously it happened to me a couple of times like with that but if you just pull the battery out pull it you know put it back in it just basically fixed the problem but for that time for this time it won't even turn on which was like okay now there's no way it's just need to go to the store i guess and then it was like okay they were like okay we're looking into it the warranty was over i knew that they they knew that took the gopro took the bag and like they said that it will take time so for me i didn't want to break the bubble of hope because i was working on a couple of videos because i i need to still work on and i cannot sink myself in this gopro misery and uh, then i didn't call them for like three uh, three weeks something then i was like okay let's see let's call them what happened then i, I called them and they were like yo okay, okay that gopro oh yeah yeah they rejected it but then you know they replaced it and uh, you just come and uh, pick up your GoPro. And I was like, wait, what? Because uh, obviously I lost every hope. Well, I was like, okay, you know, I have previous uh, memories and PTSD of a replacement. You know what you did, Acer. And it was it's not very good. 
they, they replaced with a new or like a refurbished one because well, let's not talk about the monitor but went there I went there I was super anxious where's the GoPro and they were like and they brought a freaking new GoPro like GoPro the, like this one and I was like wait what they explained to me so what happened was apparently GoPro knows this problem that this red light error and the GoPro just dies and no matter what the timeline because it did die for me at the first place so here's the thing happened so there was no like damage with my gopro because obviously i didn't drop it it's like if you take care of it as a child like do you drop your child like from your thing, right you don't right so so there was no scratch or nothing it just died internally so they send it over there they were like okay the warranty is over and it's just dead we cannot do anything about it so this store owner he knew he he, he knew the guy who, who was the head of the the service center and everything like in a sense that he had the number so he called him like this is the guy like me who bought the gopro died the next day got it replaced and now it died again after just one year and eight months like six months something like that in one word like he threatened him that i might switch to dgi and i would never use gopro which i literally was rage like i would never buy a gopro and something like that well probably i thought like i would make our outrageous video well like i made a video anyways about the like, facts but so apparently they agreed and they sent me a new gopro uh, warranty was over uh every hope was gone but the owner convinced they did uh, take the service charges which is like around it was like around $25 and then I bought a SD card which is which cost like around $10 so like it was a $30 and a new GoPro I had no hopes about it well that's for sure uh, but and then now I have the new GoPro so this is my third GoPro thank god I, I still cannot this is a miracle I don't know how that happened so i know you can go like really conspiracy theory about it but like in the other way which i subscribe to and i believe in this is the most like wholesome you know owner of uh this camera store ever because like uh, you know for context they are like the official dealers of sony canon nikon and they just get invited to like the all these camera seminars and everything like the store is pretty like uh, the way i found out the store is like other big youtuber like like of the state they're pretty trustworthy and one thing for sure whatever you say that there was no chance if you had bought this gopro from amazon they would have not at all think about it well you could have gone to legally and all like that but nobody would have ever took that uh for me personally would have never hassle of claiming that or like even if i don't know if it's possible because connections are way more powerful and if you buy some from some good store which have a 10 out of 10 customer service this this are the results you can expect and that's what happened now i don't know it just was a miracle i got the new gopro thank god and it was weird it was weird i don't know it's like this f the gopro subscription service they added that is very pretty sus because there is a feature in there like if you're subscribed with the gopro subscription we would replace your gopro without any question that raises the thing that GoPro is maybe aware of the fact that their GoPros just dies. So like, yo, guess what? What's the solution? Get the subscription. Well, I want that subscription, but it's not available for India. Here's the thing. I'm just going to say it. The amount of money it takes them to fix the actual problem of these GoPro deaths would cost them more than replacing with a new one. Well, I don't know. We're not going to fix this. We just, you know, take the subscription. We will replace it without a question. So I don't know. That's pretty. T the video will not going to do any change. And it's like, I'm still a fan of GoPro. I like the GoPro. I like like, come on, I used it and I'm still using it. And I love like the way it works and everything and the features and everything. The people who will buy the GoPro will still buy the GoPro and 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 then the fact that we pay like a hundred dollar plus like GSE and poor taxes in India, funny enough, right? Truly, really they sell it for that like three hundred and three hundred eighty-seven dollars, something like that. I bought it with three hundred eighty-seven dollars or something, like thirty-one thousand, which bought it on twenty-two. So for that time, it was already like go for eleven is out 
almost in that time our gopro 10 is stuck in the craze and that's like forty thousand was in that price which is insane and outrageous price and if you're paying that much amount of price and it just dies without like that in just like one year and one year like six months something like that i don't know why again if it works it works i have people asking me that oh should you get like a you know for youtube should you get a gopro i'm like like, I don't know if you're ready to go through the hassle it requires you to go through. But like, if you want to do like vlog and like motor vlogging and you just want to attach it in any surface and like small form factor, I think GoPros are good. But at the same time, you know, what other options you have? Obviously, you know, if you accidentally drop your DSLR and you, the whole lens price, you know, you can get a new GoPro. This is a very scuffed video, yet I just wanted to upload something because I haven't uploaded for a long time and I just tired of keep making the update videos and i make the videos on my like i'm just so i don't know i just talked what i wanted to talk about in the gopro and i hopefully that might help you uh, definitely this video is more scuffed and it may be in the future i'll make a follow-up video of it for now i just want to keep the video out might gonna help some people yet thanks for watching good night good luck stay safe stay human and keep yourself alive and for context why i cut my hair is i don't know i felt i should